Today on my channel, Planner Friends, I'm going to share with you five items that I love to use in my planning that have become some of my favorite things. And just for fun, I thought I would share five non-planner items that I really like and that I'm using and that I find beneficial. Uh, the intent of my video isn't to promote you buying things. It's just sharing. That's all I'm doing today is sharing things that work for me. So let's get down to it. Stay tuned, friends. Hello planner friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Wynne Crafty Dolo and I'm so happy you're here with me today. Thank you for taking your valuable time and spending it with me. Today is just a chatty video about things that I like or love in terms of planning. And just for fun, I decided to add five other items that are not planner related, but that I really enjoy and I just thought I would pass on. My goal is not to promote consumerism. My goal here is to give you some ideas for some products that hopefully I love and hopefully you might enjoy. So without further ado, let's talk about right now some of my five, top five planner favorites. Okay, let's get to it. Number one is a little bit of a surprise to me and that is dot grid paper. I always thought lined pages, such as, you know, lined blank pages were the go-to. And then I started using dot grid and I found I loved it even more than the lined pages, if that makes sense. So let me just give you some ideas here. This is my journal and decorating it for me because I have visual challenges, the dots help me stay on track and I can decorate in any way. I'm not just constricted to the lines. It gives me more freedom to write. But again, the grid does help me in terms of staying on task, as you can see here. Um, anyway, yeah, this is my journal and I'm still catching up, but you get the idea. I love dot grid. I love its versatility here. I'm using it for a meal planning system that I'm really happy with and it's it's worked now I did design some meal planner inserts I just haven't had them printed but definitely um, and one quick thing I've started to do and I have to play with it this is sloppy but is a fitness routine in here so dot grid paper is definitely one of my number ones number two would be fancy brush markers I've come to really enjoy these. In fact, I picked up two fairly recently at Michael's. These are kind of Christmassy colors, aren't they? What I would say is this. Um, you have the Tombow markers, which are like, what, the gold standard or something like that. Then you have these, which I picked up from Pop Shop. Now, let me tell you something. These are great. I love them, but I've discovered I have to travel to go to a pop shop. It's not like in my neighborhood. It's not even near me. So I'm doing that when we're like out and taking a day trip or something like that. Not all pop shops, however, I've discovered have these pop shelf. I'm sorry. I keep calling it pop shop. Pop shelves have these. My mistake. I apologize. I find them vibrant. I've looked at Don Dollar General, which is the parent company, apparently, for Pop Shelf. Not finding them there, um, but I did purchase these on sale, so I have both. Um, I would like to get more of these. How do I like them? Why do I like them? Because they're fun to decorate with. In my faith planner, I've been writing little reminders to myself about this and that. This is last week in my faith planner and you can see how I'm, you know, using it and, and so forth. Let me see if I did so in September. I think I did. No, I guess I didn't. I try to write things in and make it colorful. Here's another one. And I'm actually going to probably do a flip through of this planner on Sunday, but it's just, they're fun. They're fun. They're pretty easy to use. I'm not an expert at fancy lettering, but they kind of make me feel better about my lettering, if that makes sense. So I would say number one's dot grid and number two is definitely the fancy brush marker. 
Number three are, I've mentioned mild liners a lot. I have the classic set here of 15, which is all kinds of colors. This one is a neutral set, and I'm so glad I bought it. I love this more than I would have thought. Uh, where I'm really using these, truthfully, is in those faith planners. And when I write down a Bible verse, I'm using these to highlight it so that as I go back through them, I can see them easily. My They draw my attention. But yeah, I would say these are uh, the neutral set, creative markers, ink count, mild liner. Uh, savings tip. Now, I did pick these up on sale at Michael's a while ago. Keep an eye on Mercari and so forth. Sometimes these come up or I think it's Prime Days. I don't know if they're on sale or not. Uh, I'm kind of steering clear of Prime Days, but it, you might want to look. There might be a, a decent deal on them. <laughs> Number four are my, I just put it under embellishments. Um, some of these, a lot of these are Dollar Tree. Some of these I have in here are from Recollections. This is just a wide array of items that I've used, that I continue to use. Sometimes they're tags. Um, there's so much in here, like I don't even know where to begin, really. Flowers, this one's kind of all over the place. You can see I got something all stuck there. Embellishments, oh, here's one that I haven't used much. Um, this is really cute, isn't it? This is from Hobby Lobby. I like using embellishments in my planning for fun to, to make things stand out. I'm looking for something specific here. Hold on. Clearly I've got to get in this and organize it, but something like these and also um, these, which are decorative brads, which you can find and pay a lot for at places or just go to Dollar Tree and grab them. I think these are great. I use, I've used these a lot less in my regular planners, but more in my faith planners. Regardless, I just want to share with you that embellishments, oh, I love embellishments and I think fun embellishments. Here's one I haven't used either. It's kind of like a strip, like a border strip of stickers. So eventually I will use this. To be honest with you, this I keep thinking, I picked it up with the idea that it would be great for uh, Easter in my planner, if that makes sense. Although I guess the colors you could use for fall too, but anyway, so that's number four. Definitely all the embellishments. I'm not talking about stickers here. I'm just talking about actually like puffy. These are technically stickers, but they're not, they're not flat. So all kinds of raised and creative embellishments. For me, they add a lot to my planner. And yes, I will get in here and clean this little baby out. And number five are journaling cards. I do like journaling cards a lot. Even though I have a journal that I'm using, I love making little booklets and doing creative things. This is a new one. Uh, I have a very small order that I placed to scrapbook recently, which was just this sticker book and this sheet of journaling cards. I didn't buy a whole paper collection or anything like that. I'm gonna show you in my faith planner how I use these. Um, sometimes I just cut them up, sometimes I create them. But journaling cards and tip to use as tippins, this one, oh, this one has a cute small one. I love them. And so tippins, journaling cards, I just think they're fun and I'm looking forward to creating using the this um, I wanted to buy the whole <laughs> collection if you want the truth but I didn't so here we go so those are five of my favorite planner things just for fun I thought I could throw in five of my favorite non planner things quickly some of you comment sometimes on my nails so I simplified my system I used to use more expensive nail polish. Now I don't because guess what? They last about the same thing. What I've been using is Sally Hansen. I use this Ultimate Shield as a base and top coat. And one thing I picked up, I forget where I read it, but I use one color for like four weeks. Now that may sound boring. That may sound dull, <laughs> but what it does is it simplifies your routine. If you have to touch it up, you don't think about it. You're not constantly redoing and redoing. It just makes a difference. So this is my current um, choice. It's just a plain 
kind of lilac. What's the name? Oh, let me see here. Twinkling light. So that's, I like the Insta dry line because it does dry very quickly. And for somebody who's not super coordinated, that works. I picked these two shades up. This is going to be November and December. They were on sale at Walgreens, buy one, get one half off. These used to be incidentally $4 and change. Now they're up to $6 and change, which is ridiculous. But because of that, I rarely buy it anymore. I just use what I've got. I saw this was a sale and I found these two colors and I thought they were really, really beautiful. Here you can see the names if you'd like. Can you see the names? Okay. Now, as far as the glitter goes, they make different types of glitter in their Insta Dry line. This is the one I'm currently using. It's more of a pink. They have a peach. Two things, three things. Number one, when you use the glitter, when you go to put it on, if you decide to use it, it doesn't come, like when you go to, here, I'm gonna do this. When you go to swipe it, it, it comes out so uneven, so I tend to pat it on. So I get more glitter and I turn it around and I got a little piece there. Um, but you can see it works. Why do I use the glitter? Sometimes I do it on one nail, two nails, whatever. This for me helps hide any mistakes. Um, it adds a little pizzazz. So, and then they have this one in like a beige, but again, the glitter comes out very uneven. And my advice to you would be is don't swipe it or you can try swiping, but I suggest you pat it on. Just don't do it too thickly. I happen to think it works well. I really love it, the line, so that would be my nail polish go-to. Number two non-planner favorites are these. Nature's Bounties Hair, Skin, and Nail Gummies. I'm on, this is my second bottle. Now you may say my nails aren't exactly long. Well, these four aren't especially because I'm always cooking and baking and slicing and dicing. I bought these on Amazon and what I've noticed with them is my nails are stronger my skin on my face does look better and my hair it's hard to say i always have had a lot of hair so that's kind of i don't know that 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 it's growing any quicker but i do like these it's biotin um i again i wasn't going to go for some fancy influencer blah blah oh look at these number three yes i drink copious amounts of black tea it's my go-to but for a change of pace this I've started to drink and this is why women um it's always been for years men suffer from heart disease well so do women and to combat anything like that a drink uh, a green tea every day I don't use sweetener in mine you can use something honey whatever in yours it it's a health reason that's why I do this okay and for me, it's been wonderful. It's a way to calm down in the afternoon. So when I can, in the later afternoon, I'll ha pop in some hot water into my tea kettle, make some green tea. Sometimes I'll have a cookie with it or whatever, just to have a little bit of a break. This is something my parents used to, uh, my mom always was big on and she was right. Isn't it funny? Mom's always right, you know? We drink this at night sometimes before bed, depending. Sometimes he'll have the apple tea or the orange tea. I'm less about those. I do like this though. A cup of this at night before you turn in, before just a way, again, kind of unwinding. These are two of my favorites and yeah, but buy them on sale, of course, you know me, especially because, you know, food prices are what they are. Number four on my non-planner items that I love is this body wash. I know a lot of people love Olay and they this and that, the fancy stuff. I got this as part of a group of products available through Amazon. It was like this, a lip balm, and some moisturizers. It was a bundle. It was, I think, total for all three products, $14 maybe. And that's, this is 20 ounces. The lotion is big. I mean, it was a good buy and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I have, because I have scleroderma, my skin is so oof, dry and I have lesions on, you know, my skin and it's all scar tissue. I have to be so careful. I cannot use your typical commercial soap unless it's dove sensitive. That I can do. So I generally buy 
uh, handmade soaps that are like oatmeal and, and really extra emollients. But this has been working pretty well, I have to say. The whole idea for me is to trap in the moisture that I can. And speaking of trapping in moisture, my final item are these. I read an article a few years ago about European skincare versus American skincare. And one of the big standouts in that article for me was that European women use facial oils. And I thought, well, gee, I'm using this. I use this on my scleroderma skin. It, it, you to find this is work i'm telling you right now you have to go to you can go to walmart you can go to cvs you can go to a pharmacy but it's on the bottom shelf usually and they don't even know they carry it when you ask oh do you have bio oil they're like what i don't know i don't know it's on the bottom shelf um it's not super cheap but then nothing is anymore. It's also not super expensive. This has lasted me forever. And it really does help, especially when my skin is in distress. Uh, I have a spot right now on my shoulder that's back on my shoulder that's bothering me. So this is like a go-to and it soaks right in. You can use it on your face. You can use it on your face if you're so inclined. What you know, if you have dry skin, it also, the, the idea behind facial oils is they help your face look a bit more radiant. And then I have this one from Mar the Mary Kay Naturally line, which is a wonderful nourishing oil. I use this every single night. I This is the first thing after I wash off, if I'm wearing makeup or if I'm just washing my face at night, if I'm not, whatever. After I get done drying it, this goes on just a few drops. It lasts a long time too. Uh, really, I think they've both been great for my skin. So that's it, friends. Planner favorites and some non-planner favorites, not to encourage consumerism, but just to tell you what things that I have found useful that you might find useful. Incidentally, this, and you can get the green tea and decaf as well. These are great if you're dealing with anxiety um, for what it's worth, because picture this, you sit down, you get a nice cup of tea now, right now, of course I'm drinking tea, but it's black tea. Um, but you sit down and just let yourself be, even if you get five minutes of peace out of it, that helps reset your anxiety clock. So just a little bit of tips and so forth, friends. So that's it for today. I know this is an unusual video, but I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do something different. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I know that it's Amazon Prime Days. I'm filming this on Tuesday. I'm gonna drop it on Wednesday. So today and tomorrow are Amazon Prime Days. I'm not buying anything. So I thought I would counter it with some favorites and maybe something uh, in here you would find useful. Like I said, these were from Amazon. This was from Amazon. You know what? I honestly don't know if they sell this on Amazon. I'd have to look, but just some thoughts. All right, planner friends, thank you for your time and thank you for spending your time with me. Have a great week. Bye, planner friends.